Hello fellow makeup fiends, here we are on Halloween morning. Just about for Lisa to apply some Halloween type makeup for me because I'm going into work today dressed up as a bit of a ghoul. So here we go. <laughs> Um, okay, the voice sounds awful. This is some Carmen cream. This is like to neutralize the red in your skin. Because if you're a zombie, you're not going to be very red. I'm just going to put a bit of primer on to protect your skin from the makeup and to help it set better and close your eyes. Then we put that around the eyes because that's where we're putting a lot of the makeup. <clears throat> We're just going to use a bit of the Stargazer wet cover palette and you need to use a little sponge with this. This is just a bathroom sponge and it's just dampened. I'm going to take the white. Right, so the important thing is the eyes. <clears throat> so we're going to use the Sleek Ultra Matte palette, oh. version 2. It's got some great colours to create some bruising around the eyes and I'm just going to use a gosh eyeshadow brush. <clears throat> Actually before that though, I'm going to take a Barry M Fine Eyeliner Brush. And I'm going to take the Stargazer palette, this is the velvet colour palette, and I'm going to use the red, because I want his eyes to look all red and horrible. So you need to look up. Alex's not used to this, so we had a practice last night. Line in the eyes of it, top and bottom. Okay, can you look up? Okay, <coughs> that's the right done. And then just to make it look, if you want to speak, you can speak. Yeah, it's okay. I'm going to add a little bit of dark brown. It just, not, it goes a little bit over the red, but not a lot. It just kind of takes the brightness of that down because the blood would have dried. But his eyes are going to look a little bit bloodshot, that's, that's okay. And you don't have to worry about being messy because it's the whole idea of the look really. Right, so I'm going to move back to the sleek palette and start with some darkness around the eyes because these eyes have got a look of sunken in. I'm going to put some black, green and purple. 
start on the inner eye corner and bring it down underneath the eye. Now you don't want to fill all the area in because it's supposed to look like you're dead, not like you've got big black eyes. Don't want to look like a panda. And then you want to bring it up into the crease. I'm going to take a fluffy brush, a small one. So, this is just a blusher brush. I'm just going to dust that over that area because you don't want it to look like it's heavily made up. most important point is the inner corner of the eyes to make them look sunken. Mm. Are you happy with that? Mm-hmm. Close your eyes. I'm just going to fill in those tiny little gaps there. It's just a little bit of brown. Right, for effect, I'm going to add up some red to the nostril. So, I'm just going to put it around the edge. So, this is just going to look like dry blood. It needs to look a little bit banged up. And we'll just add a little bit under the mouth as well. He's a zombie and he's been eating brains. So what you turn to play? Yeah. <laughs> but like, yeah, what's going on there? because the biscuits are there. And I throw this in. Some grey shadow on the lips. Just to take down the colour a little bit. in Black Knight. 
don't want the lips to look painted, so I'm just going to dab that on a little bit. So look a little bit decayed. <laughs> Add some white powder to just make you look a bit more paler and ghoulish, and then we'll do a little bit of cheek contour. And Just gonna go back to this red quickly. Top up a little bit. Yeah. This zombie's a messy eater. Yeah. yeah. He's not a fussy eater though. Oh, not fussy, no. Not particularly. No. Right, so what we're going to do is just take Daniel's Sandler brush and just get some black shadow on this. And I just want to contour, so I'm going to start with the thickest part of the brush at the top. Just to dab that on. It needs to look like he's got hollows in his cheeks. And then you can bring a little bit of that up the temples. Just do a little bit of darkness. Wants to die for. <laughs> oh. Then we're going to take a little bit of our white paper, um, powder again there. I take that around that area just to soften the edges of it. You can see, you can still see the dark through. And then the last final touch is to take some dark green, purple, whatever colour you want. I'm just going to add a few veins. When you put them on, don't worry how they look initially. Nice little lines, kind of like tree branches. Veins don't have the same coloration when you're dead, which is why you choose another colour other than blue. And then you take the brush that's got a little bit of powder left on it and you just gently go over them. You want to blend them down so they look more like veins under the skin, which are not quite so obvious. Because even when you're a zombie, sometimes less is more. Just a very, bit. very simple thing that's very cheap and you may have is dry shampoo. 
you know yourself, this can be very white looking when you take it too close. And that's what you're going for there, you can see straight away. Another good thing about this is it makes your hair a little bit more like sticky up, gives it a bit of volume. Looking very undead. Is that more you don't? <laughs> Yeah. Right, let's have a look. Are you happy with the finished effect there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I've just got to go to work now. <laughs> oh. Happy Halloween makeup fiends. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you're having a great night tonight, have a great night. Have a horror show like at the Stadium of Light last night. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh daddy. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs>